Happy Friday, friends. I, happy end of the month. Happy end of first quarter. Did anyone else's first quarter just zoom by and you're just like, um, then we just start January 1 with some goal setting and here we are, March 30th. So I know this is not a day that I typically come live and talk with you, but I feel like maybe I need to today. This is the end of the month. This is the time when we take stock of what we just did. I know we're not done yet. March has 31 days, but it's Friday and I don't work on Saturdays. So I wanted to have a fast conversation with you about that because, and I can do this with authority. I can do this with absolute authority because I have literally been there, done that, bought and burned that t-shirt. I've worked for four years to get the rank that I got this week. I know what it feels like, especially at the end of the month, to look at your numbers and know you're not going to make it. But to look next door at this girl and look at all of the numbers she has, all of the success that she has, all of the new teammates that she has, all of the sales that she has, all of the recognition that she has, all of the stuff. I know that feeling. I know that feeling too well because four years and four months, y'all, you know, who wants to do the math on that? Let's do that real quick. So let's talk real quick about how long 12 months in a year times four years plus four extra months, 52, can you see it? 52 months I lived this life. 52 months I compared myself, my success with hers. And I felt that her success was my failure. That because I didn't get what she got, I failed. And I want to talk to the ones who are feeling that right now who are looking at your numbers and you know it's not going to happen for you this month. I want to talk to you. I want to read you something that I wrote at the end of last month when I missed my goal by a whole lot. Y'all, we didn't even get halfway, okay? So let me read you something. End of the month wisdom from someone who has both been there and done that. Do not envy her success. Do not wish for her rank, her sales, her recruits. They aren't yours to have. Instead, use her success to show you that the trail has already been blazed. Success has already been won. And if she can, you can. Repeat that to yourself every day, every minute, every time you feel jealous or upset. And then thank God for your success, your blessings, your days walking in your purpose, because he has a big plan for your life, for your business, and for you. All of the time you spend wishing for her success, you miss out on celebrating yours. Be proud of what you've done this month. Tell yourself, if she can, I can. And then believe it. Gear yourself up for April 1 on Sunday. And then work as hard, as long, as dedicated, believe as much as you have this last week of March. If you start April 1st, and I am proof of this, if you start April 1st working as all out as you have this last week of March, you will see a difference on the last day of April. All of the time you spend comparing what you did to what she did, you lose your blessings. You lose your excitement. You lose your giving away your joy. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anyone. 
I want you to have joy. I want you to celebrate what you did. And I don't mean what your team did. I mean what you did. I want you to celebrate every day you got up when it was hard to get up and go to work. I want you to celebrate every single sale you made. I want you to celebrate every person you talk to about this business, whether they joined or not. I want you to celebrate every time you overcame the crap in your own head. I want you to celebrate you rather than waste your time comparing your success to hers. Because the playing field, here's the real life, y'all. The playing field, it's not even it's not okay it's not even she has walked through things you've never walked through you've walked through things she's never walked through you can't compare apples to oranges cats to dogs fishes to turtles you can't compare them so why are you comparing you to her spend the rest of today do this for me spend the rest of today sitting down with yourself Writing down the things that you accomplished, not your team. I don't care what your team did. I care what you did. I care about the days that you overcame you. The days that you prayed more than before. The days that you actually meditated, because y'all, that is still not easy. Write those days down. Be grateful for them. Celebrate them. And then when you're done with that, and only after, write down what you're going to do next month. What's your action plan for next month? What is April going to be that March wasn't? What are you going to do every day so that you have the success that you want? This is not an easy time. It is heartbreaking to miss your goal. But don't get bitter. Okay, for me, don't get bitter. Have a bad day today. Have a bad day tomorrow. But then on April 1st, move on. Make April brand new and make April different. <laughs>